All right, what's good, YouTube? My name is JP. This is Jason, and we just want to give our debate about celebrities. So, I was saying a few minutes ago, I feel like the, I was telling Jason the reason why I don't watch YouTube or celebrities channels or when other people are talking about celebrities. And the case and point of why is because it's like I understand that they don't know us and we know them, but we made them. And so it's like when we reach out to them or when we tag them in there, I'm not saying they have time to read every message or time to do this and do that. But if I was rich and famous, I would do something or I would pay an agent to do something to where I could reach out to my fans. I could reach out to the people who made me to where I could either apply to their life and help them out. Jay Sean, tell me your opinions of what you feel. That's what celebrities do. A lot of them, they give back because they have such a big following. It's it's going to be hard for you to have an intimate relationship with all the people that follow you. But a lot of the celebrities give back. They do fundraisers. They do a lot. Um, what they can, though. Because we only, all only got so much time in the day. They got to work. They work a lot. So it's just like I feel like they do, not all, but a lot of them do meet the fans, show up before the shows, sign autographs, do what they can do to have friends, some have fan appreciation days. Yeah. Like Kevin Hart, that's one of them. He used to have, uh, he took all his friend, uh, fans out to the movies one time. You know, it's people, I feel like celebrities do do that, but not all. Some feel like they better than you. They made it. You didn't. So, you know. And then on, <clears throat> on another point I would like to make. Excuse me. I was eating some some stew. Some beef stew right now. <laughs> but anyhow. I, I'm drinking. We ain't get him a uh, sponsorship. <laughs> no, no, we're going to get him. Hey, shout out to Bud Light. Gonna... Yeah. yeah, shout out to Bud Light, you know. What, what, what they, it is. Tell them people what the Bud Light tastes like. And I'll tell them what this soup tastes like. So. Come on. You know, Bud Light tastes it's like Bud Light. This soup, you know, it tastes magically delicious. You know, it got plenty good juice, vegetables, meat. I asked you the soup. This show is tasty. You see my face. <laughs> so I'll start off this, this next one. So I feel like celebrities, especially, uh, depending on whatever your profession is. You are no different than the up and coming person. So a lot of time, uh, I'll use comedy as an example because we both stand up comedians. Uh, but just because that person is the celebrity, they're on TV versus the, the up and coming person. And a lot of celebrities know this too. It might be the person the fans don't know that might be the funny one or had the better talent or you know whatever it's just just because you're not famous doesn't mean you're not good true i'm a found believer of you got a problem before you walk like i'm not saying i want to rush to be rich i'm not saying i want to rush to be famous my whole goal with comedy is i really enjoy making people laugh and I enjoy being able to like telling jokes let off stress. Let off what you're going through in your life and then you make that into a joke to make others laugh. So I just want to say that right there. Just the reason why I do comedy because I like seeing people smile. I like seeing people laugh. Now, one thing I have a problem with um, fame versus non-fame or... See, we all are fans of somebody. But a celebrity could come on here, and they could go on YouTube, and as they should, and they could get millions of followers, millions of viewers, because they already got that. They already got the popularity. Now, see, an upcoming person, we have to build that. Or we have to like make that imprint for ourselves, that name out there. We got to get out there and hustle just as well as they did or whatever they did. To make their shit come out. So what I'm saying is like. 
some of y'all as fans, as celebrity fans, y'all get on there and, and support everything you do. And then you can see a regular person who's up coming trying to do the same thing, but he could be as good or he could even be greater. But since they're not as popular or as famous, y'all probably be like, well, I ain't going to pay his channel no mind until he get his viewing up or until he get his subscribing up. I'm not saying that's wrong or right, but it shouldn't be like that. That's all I got to say. It shouldn't be like that. It should. I'm not saying it should. It should happen like that, but it, just give credit to what credit do. That's all I say. My opinion. I agree with you on that. Because somebody could be just as talented, but the the marketing isn't right. So they don't they can't reach enough people even though you're on the same platform as them. You on Instagram, you on Facebook, you on whatever platform, you on TikTok, any you still on this these same platforms, but since you've already been so, and a lot of times, uh, celebrities be given platforms. Like, how Takashi 6 ix 9 was number one rapper. That's given. They said he was the number one rapper. Who really went out and bought the CD? Not that many people. He didn't have the most record sales. So how did he have the most views all the time? That's, them, them numbers is fake. Like, I'm, that, this video might get taken down because it's starting to keep it too real right now. A lot of times, uh, People be buying views. Let's, let's, I'm going to keep it real. People be buying views on YouTube. You can buy followers that don't know you. And you can make it seem like you a celebrity when you're not. Them is robots. Them ain't even real people that's following you. That's one part of the game. Because like he said, when people see that you got all these numbers, then they want to follow you more because it's, it's a... Uh, Probably a version right. of success. Like, mm -hmm. people think that you're successful when you're really not. You got that because you paid for that. And those, those aren't even real people. And it, how... I don't want to say too much, but... You can tell if somebody got a whole lot of views, but no comments, they pay for that. True, I, I agree with that. I was just saying, like... <clears throat> I was just respecting the real and the non-real. Like, there's a lot of one-hit wonders. Like, the Chinese dude who made She Bang, She Bang and got rich and famous off of that. It's like, do I have to really, like, downgrade myself to get y'all attention? Do I have to, like, do something like walk around in a diaper <laughs> to get an amount of views? It's like saying that y'all support the more fiction, like fake stuff, stuff that's fake. That's what y'all support. And then when somebody's trying to deliver you a, a message or trying to deliver you something, sometimes it's like y'all not even human. Y'all can't even just, you know, you're going to bypass it because the views ain't high enough. You're going to bypass it because the likes ain't high enough. Or is you just going to click it because of the title? What makes y'all click on a video? For me, it's a title. If that title says, um, man stuck in a closet, and wind up seeing a ghost. I'm going to click in it because, for one, I'm going to figure, why is he stuck in the closet? Second thing, I'm going to figure, why the fuck he got a ghost? You know what I'm saying? Excuse that message right there. Nah. But that's what's going to be going on in my mind. Like, why is he in the closet, first of all? And what the fuck, he really seen a ghost? So it's the title for me. I don't give a fuck if the title has nothing but 93 views. I'm going to click on it. But you'll have to be searching for that to find that. Though. No, sometimes it could be in the feed. But the algorithm, yeah. It could be in the but feed. But then that means the algorithm basically. It could be in the feed. Or like you could be. Means you was looking for something similar or, to you, it. Or you could be looking for something similar yeah. to it. That's how you get your page out more. I noticed that too. Like, that's the reason why I do a lot of story times because it's like, it's a thousand people doing story times. Mm -hmm. So, with that being said, that's a popular topic even though i still don't get no views but i'm still hoping when somebody's searching for that particular story time or that particular topic maybe my video will pop out and they had click on it and now it I got will. A, and now i got a, I a had a viral video uh came out i had got like i want to say uh 50, 000 views 
And I know why. I mean, what? Yeah, I took it down off my page because uh, the people that was following me was just from that video. So that's just one video. If you ain't following following me, like I don't really want you to follow me just because you seen one video and you liked it, that one video. And then you, you want me to be more like, you try to tell me what to do. Yeah. Be like this. Be like that. I'm like, no, nah, I'll say whatever I want to say. So. That that happened to me before. Like, I started off when I had YouTube. I had like 160, like, following subscribers. Those were my loyal subscribers. Because when I had them, they would go in there, they'll comment, they'll say this and that. Now, one day, y'all, everybody know that R. Kelly situation. A lot of people didn't have like cable or could get the little cable channel, so I recorded it, and I was able to go. I was able to go live, and now it's like my channel can't go live, or it says when I looked up how many uh, subscribers you have to have to go live on your phone, you have to have a thousand. So now I'm only at five, and I need to have a thousand subscribers. Right. In order to go live on YouTube again, now from we, your phone, from your phone, and when you're able to go live on YouTube, that means you could like hit everybody over the world. So whoever sees you live and see what you're talking about in your topic, it could be today I'm making um, enchilada spaghetti or something like that. And if that's interesting and you're live talking about that and cooking that, then they're gonna click in. Yeah. So. I have a lot of interesting topics, and he do too, on his page, but it's like, what can we do to get the people to go if we can't go live and nothing like that? And then, like how I was saying, I got 140, no, 540-something subscribers from Surviving R. Kelly recording it. And like, back to what he was saying, he had a video up, and the videos I had up, I had to take down. And it's like those fans only came because of that. Yeah. And then when they came because of that, long story short, I just got stuck with those subscribers. But now they're not real supporters no more. Yeah, they're not really watching. The I don't know like if they just kept that phone and got a new phone and got another thing, but they didn't keep up with me. So it's still yeah. like I That's still the have those fans, but it's like those fans probably don't even have that. You know what I'm saying? No more because they're not getting the not notification on their phone. Or if they is still fans, they're just not watching. They're just not watching. Yeah. Which that's is not what, like, which I, is not fair to me because it's like me too. Fuck. That's how I felt. Like uh, I had fifty five thousand people view a two minute video that I made about a famous person. That my whole point was, I think this is what made people uh, click on it was they seen a black person talking about a white person, a famous white person, when he said the N-word, because uh, he was drunk, that's what he said, oh, I'm sorry, I was drunk, I really didn't mean to say that, and I'm like, well, it don't really matter, like, ain't no, I'm not judging you, just because you said the N-word, and you was around your friends, then, who gives a damn, everybody says that, every race says the N-word, so, but when people see a black person kind of defending, defending a white person, that makes them want to click, click on it it's people it started going viral yeah and it's it's i'm not saying it's weird something as little as somebody saying the n-word should make you popular and i'm not saying it's weird for me just recording off of my phone r kelly videos for people to click on it and want to like me but shouldn't people like you just because you have an interesting topic like i was saying I follow videos or watch people who's upcoming. I, I really support upcoming artists or upcoming people, regardless if it's just a YouTube channel, them talking about hair, makeup, be anything. Now, I'm not saying I'm going to be watching some girl talk about hair or makeup, but if she's talking about something interesting on there, I'm going to click and see what exactly what she's doing. If she can do something creative where I could, if she's giving off, or anybody, if he's getting off a, uh, advice or information that can help me out then I'm going to click on that it doesn't matter about the view or how many likes you have it all matter about the topic to me the topic draw me I feel y'all that get drawn in by the view I'm not saying you're wrong but 
The main thing is it could be better too. Like especially when you on these platforms, social media is for somebody to even pop up in your algorithm. They have to. You have to be searching for them, or they had to say something that you were interested in. So it's like social media is like all. It's like you could be in your own world on social media. Like that's kind of that's how it's set up. Like it's it's just feeds you back whatever you like. Um, so if you like this, it'll keep showing you this. I'm gonna step out for a minute. I'm let him keep his own talking because I gotta check on some things. I'll okay. be right back. I'm gonna keep talking about the, the algorithm. So social media and the thing the thing that makes a lot of up and coming people bad I would say is the fact that you got a lot of women on here twerking thinking that that's the only thing that's gonna get them famous or just doing things for shock value which it works because it'll get you that shock value but people watching you because of your shock value. Because they want to see what now, they want to see what you got to say. Because you said some shit that it's probably disrespectful to yourself. But now, now that you got people watching and they want to continue to see you in that light, then now that's what people, you just sold your soul now. Because that's not really you. You just did that that one time or... I don't know what, what the attention you want. Like, That's all celebrities do. Is have attention. They just got more attention than everybody else. But why? Nine times out of ten is for the bullshit. So if you want to be famous, at what cost? Now, what I like is when, when celebrities speak out on stuff, when they are for the people at a certain point. You know, that's why Martin Luther King was so famous, Malcolm X. I mean, just different people in history that spoke out against what the people was going through. Because celebrities is just entertainment. Like, I mean... You got singers, you got com comedians, you got everything, but it's just all entertainment. People looking at you, oh, okay, that was good, you know, coming to your shows, you sang good. It's, you don't, like a celebrity cannot change, you, they can because they have a following. So, like if a celebrity, like how Nicki Minaj did, how she spoke up and said some things against the jam, that gets people's attention because they have a platform. So it's like, well, think about this. So if they start doing social commentary and you already famous, but the thing is they'll take they can take your channel from you. They can take your YouTube page. Alright, I'm back. But I missed out on what I was just saying was like celebrities can make a change but the thing is, is they don't really run much. So, like, say you a celebrity and you speaking out on some social commentary stuff. Mm -hmm. They can take your YouTube page, Facebook, whatever, because mm -hmm. they're right. like, oh, you ain't following the rules all like, of a sudden now. Sometimes I feel, and y'all could comment below or, you know, my page ain't got much going on. But Please comment. Said it, I Please hope, comment below. I hope, I hope some of my old fans pop up out of the woodworks and say something but um because we both gonna share this video so if um, you follow me you follow him yeah by version but what i was gonna say is it's weird like some of the rules on like tiktok facebook facebook for example facebook you could go live on there you don't have to have yeah, so you many followings you don't have to have that the thing about i don't like about facebook instagram too you can go live it's like you could go live on Facebook, but as soon as you go live and you say, for instance, you got music on the background and they make you where you have to put, I don't have right <laughs> to that music. Now, let me tell you why I get about that and why I feel like it's stupid. I feel like it's stupid because if I have R. Kelly playing in my background, that's not meaning that I'm stealing 
his lyrics. That's not yeah. mean that I'm stealing his music. Now, I, it makes sense if I was an artist trying to sing a song and I'm trying to steal his lyrics word for word. That would be wrong. You know why they do that? I, that's what I would think. That's why they do that. Because no, no, they're trying to it. stop that's you from not stealing. It. Because um, artists, unless you are an independent artist, unless you're the one. So if you listen to somebody's music every time, like if you don't own the masters of that, if you own your masters, then you get paid every time somebody plays your music. But if you play my music and I, I'm signed to a record label, they want their money for somebody listening to your music. So that's why they get mad. They're like, well, hell, we didn't say you could play that. So that's why they make you say, oh, I'm, I'm not doing this to make no money because they, if you made some money off that video, they'll take it down because they like, we were supposed to make money off of that artist. That's our artist. That, that makes sense too. I get what you're saying. But it's like, that's just like a, the same similar thing I was kind of saying, but you broke it down. Thank you for breaking it down. Mm -hmm. Because I was saying that, but I didn't break it down in detail. But I just feel like it's a little bit stupid to think just because I'm listening, it could be R. Kelly stabbing the name of love. I could be listening to that in the background just to make my mood right. And I could be talking about I'm totally different. Donald Trump or something. Yeah. That doesn't mean I'm stealing it. Now, I don't have a problem putting I don't have the rights to this music in the background if that's going to stop me. But sometimes when I put it, they still takes down my video. That's what makes me mad because I can have a video that I have a good point of view. And the music is just catching, you know, it catches your attention. Music yeah. make you dance, music make you move. So they could probably just... Somebody would click on it. Let me see what this nigga is talking about. Let me see what he's singing about or anything or what he got yeah, going on. Yeah. You know, somebody who ever click on, oh, he's jamming in the music, you know, in the background. It's not necessary that I want to steal R. Kelly's platform or I want to steal his rights. And if I did make a little money off the video, who's to say that I made money off that video because of his music in the background? You know what I'm saying? That's a good point. Like, YouTube, Facebook don't know that. Y'all don't know that. Yeah, because they're not but, asking the viewers why you watch it. But I and understand. I understand. Off. There's a lot of artists who steal people beats, steal their lyrics. Mm -hmm. But is they getting sued for that? Some people are. Some people ain't. Some people are just like, oh, he just took Tupac beat, you know, and he just made his own lyrics. That's not stealing, right? So why should I feel like I'm stealing something just because I'm listening to a song in the background, yeah. you know? That's one thing I don't like about Facebook. And then sometimes even if I put, I don't have rights to this music. The Facebook app, I don't know if it's favoritism to some, some people or it's just me or it's a certain way you have to put it because you can put, I don't have rights to the music in the background. Boom. Two minutes later, you will click on it and, it, and it'll, it'll say clear as day or your video will be mute. Mm -hmm. Because that cause they watch it. Because they heard what I was, you know, and I put the title already and i'm just like why is it mute so now it's like no purpose of this video being up and i didn't tag people in it and everything and people are all telling me oh they can't hear they can't hear and it's like well, fuck i should have just went on there just talking about random shit by versus just putting the music on there. yeah and i'm not saying music make the video but certain things i was talking about and the mood it just made my mood better like like alcohol do okay like like the tiktok challenges yeah all of them be a certain song most of the time yeah like it'll be this person's song and then that could make that'll make that person famous because yeah. there's so many people on tiktok uh doing whatever they did whatever challenge they doing yeah. to that song that'll make that artist famous yeah so that's why uh the different platforms will allow that yeah, and because they are continue. like kind of create not they're not creating it, but they're making it to where okay, yeah, you are famous because of us. Mm -hmm. So then they're getting paid off you every, and then especially with music, they're they're yeah. the ones they're, they, music, they're the ones. Yeah, I know what you're saying. Yeah. Their music getting hurt. I get you saying in your point, especially when you bring up TikTok because TikTok is exactly. What I'm trying to say, yeah. like, it's, 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 
I have a TikTok, for example. Follow me on that too. But I go in there and I do the duets and I do the little. It's kind of like a musically when musically first came out and it was for kids. I think a lot of these programs, like social sites, they need to make one for adults and one for kids because TikTok have a lot of rules too. Like they allow you to play the music or play the music in the background in your videos and won't take it down. But they have a song. It could be about riding dick, and this the song, song won't get. To make this for adults. The song. We got make this video for kids. I, I get you. The song won't get taken down, but the simple fact that the girl on there and she's doing every movement, twerking, whatever you want to call it. Back in my day, it's called and his day, it's called back that ass. Up. You know, we were straight to the point, but now we want to call it twerking. But yeah. moral of the story, what I was trying to say, the woman could be on there twerking her ass off, popping her boot, and the song is she like ride dig good, down hands no da 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 da. So she's saying all of that in the song, but as an adult, but since we're on a kid platform, yeah, where kids can watch it, where kids can watch it, they'll say it's nudity, you know. And even though she's not butt naked, but no, nah, that is she's kids damn near. Kids it. should be looking at. It. That's why I say, but some of these, I just want to say this part: okay. some of these social sites should make certain sites for adults and certain sites for kids. On top of that, I wanted to know, when I put my year to date, your year to date makes you adult, right? So then off top, no kids should be able to follow you unless they're in that same age bracket. My point of view. What you was going to say? Oh, what I was going to say is, because kids can follow adults if you ain't talking about adult content type of stuff. Yeah. But what I've noticed is we probably I hope we get this video made up <laughs> because uh, we getting deep. I mean sometimes getting deep. But like I noticed when it's the LGBT people, all their videos get pushed because that's what they want people to see. I mean, you get a gay man kissing on a gay woman. Uh, Two dudes kissing, that's gonna make a whole lot of headlines. Versus straight people. True. That's how I want to say. True. That's a good point of view. Like, like I said back to TikTok, a gay guy, and I have no offense. I have nothing against gay. Me neither. But I support y'all. What I was saying is like this: a gay not guy. A gay, a, gay, a gay guy or a gay man or a gay woman. Whatever. They, they could go in there and they could talk about gay. I go on TikTok, I talk about gay, it gets They'll take you down. Yeah. It's not that I'm what I'm saying on there is so bad. If they just was to leave it up, they could understand that I'm not trying to hurt nobody or harm nobody or want somebody yeah, to harm themselves. Bashing. Yeah, or yeah. bashing them. But if they was just to leave it up, I could be able to see where everybody else opinion. There's people on there who's gay themselves and they bashing their own self. There's people that's gay themselves and they're on there and they're dancing and stuff like that. And then me as a man, if I go on there, and I'm not saying I'll be on there dancing, but I do a little bit of everything on TikTok. But I'm not gonna be on there twerking or nothing like that. But I, I I'm just saying, if I was to talk about something sexual and me being an adult i should be able to talk there that sexual especially if i'm beeping out words like i'm beeping out instead of dick i'm saying penis you know what i'm saying so it's other ways around things what i'm trying to say there's other ways around things just like just like he was saying we'll have to monetize this video where kids can see it I'm glad that YouTube made that on their thing. And I feel like all pages should make that thing. They should start making it where they're giving you that option. Is this video made for adults or is this video made for kids? And when you have that option, that gives you the chance. Oh, this video will have a little cuss words in it. I'm going to put not made for kids. Yeah, so, but the ones everybody can watch, they'll say it's, it's made for kids. And then it'll be... 
Little Nas X pregnant. Yeah. Kids shouldn't be saying no shit like that. Kids yeah. shouldn't be saying a bunch, you know, kids shouldn't be saying sexual shit till you get older. But if they do it, then it, they'll let the kids watch it. Yeah, and then that that brings it back to the fame. Like it seems like famous people could go on they any social. Yeah, want. they could go on any social platform, and they're getting away with it. Now on TikTok, I have seen a couple of celebrities who I follow, and some of their things got muted or took down. Well, that's good. But they're not stopping them from having a popularity. Now, when a regular person get took down, I got took down for being too outspoken. I got took down for saying words that I shouldn't have say, like gay versus bisexual, or I got took down for discussing those type of matters. I even got took down for saying the word crack baby. So it's like, I get the rules and the guidelines, but sometimes the guidelines is just too, too much at some point. Because I'm like, how is I'm gonna let out the story to the world and it got all these rules? Yeah. I mean, if I could say it in Spanish, I would have just did that. All right. I, I'll just say, I hope this video don't get taken down because this is a good conversation. I hope it don't get taken down, but dang, it's kind of long. Maybe we should end it and yeah, let's end it. talk about another video. All right, y'all. Peace.